increasing demand for subcompact entry-level luxury vehicles here in the United States, the Mercedes CLA is one of the hottest selling vehicles in the segment. The CLA was introduced in the 2014 model years to give consumers an option to get into the Mercedes Club with having a $30,000 price tag. So is there a reason to choose a CLA over vehicles like the Audi A3 and BMW 2 Series? Well, let's go ahead and find out and check out this 2016 Mercedes CLA 250. Now, if you didn't know, the GLA from Mercedes is based off of the CLA we have here, and they share many styling cues on the inside with each other. However, they differ a whole lot in terms of exterior styling, but the GLA is essentially a hatchback variant of the CLA. Now, not much has changed for the 2016 model year for the CLA. There's essentially a new dark trim night package which adds new contrast stitching options for the base black or gray MB Tex leather upholstery. But not much has changed for the CLA for 2016. As far as styling goes on the vehicle, it takes a lot of styling cues from its bigger brother, the CLS. And it's either love it or hate it in terms of styling. You have the coupe-like design in the rear and then you have a sloping roof line too. But that actually decreases a whole lot of headroom for rear occupants. You also have the 17 inch alloy wheels. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of the styling. I think it's pretty unique and distinctive looking. And I love the big old Mercedes front emblem we have here too. Now, here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. It's a typical Mercedes key. You have your remote keyless entry, your unlock, your lock to release your trunk and then your panic button. Now this color of the CLA is known as the night black. And then you also do have a beige leatherette interior, but Mercedes likes to call it MB Tex. Full leather upholstery is optional on the CLA. And then you also have your power driver seat with power recline, and then your power lumbar is located down right here. Now when you step on inside of the CLA here, you're greeted with a very attractive cabin design. It's pretty luxurious, very stylish. It certainly should impress your friends. It's a very nice cabin. The step-in height is fairly low, of course. You do have push-button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Oh, Federalist! And what you're hearing there is a 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder, leather wrapped steering wheel, coming to your transmission you have a column mounted 7 speed automatic transmission and in typical Mercedes fashion you just go down for drive like this and then up for reverse and then you push for park. No backup camera on the CLA here, that's actually an option. They make you option for everything on this vehicle. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. Looks like they're already on. And then the hazards too. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. Seventeen inch alloy wheels. Coming up front you have halogen headlights. LED daytime running lights are an option. Powering the CLA here, we have your base powertrain, which is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder that produces 208 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 258 pound feet of torque at 1250 RPM with EPA estimates being a very excellent 26 in the city and 38 on the highway. However, it does run on premium unleaded fuel. This one is front wheel drive, but all wheel drive is optional with their 4MATIC system. Now if you want, you don't have to go for the CLA 250 here with this four cylinder. You can go for the CLA 45 AMG which has a stronger two liter turbocharged four cylinder. 
Now the base model of the CLA 250 starts at $31,500 and then if you want the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system you're adding another two grand, bringing the total price to $33,500. If you want the tire scorching CLA 45 AMG you're looking at $48,500. Competitors of the CLA you have the vehicles in the entry level subcompact luxury vehicle class. This includes the likes of the Audi A3 and the BMW 2 Series. Total vehicle price for this particular CLA is $34,520. EPA estimates you're looking at 26 in the city, 38 on the highway like I said. Coming to the rear, you have a rear window defroster, LED illuminated brake lights, and then you have dual exhaust tips too. Of course, all of your basic power necessities. We have your power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks are located right here. We also do have memory seat settings for three people. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Two thousand and sixteen Mercedes CLA two fifty here. Now the power delivery on this vehicle with the two liter turbo four cylinder is kind of disappointing, I have to say, and the transmission really hesitates to shift with this seven speed automatic transmission. It's kind of quirky, it doesn't shift all very smoothly with this two liter turbo four cylinder. Now, with that being said, the handling on this vehicle is actually pretty darn good. I really do love the handling of the CLA. In fact, I think that's the best part about driving the CLA. I think that the steering is pretty precise. You can really feel for where this vehicle is trying to go. Now, if you do go for the CLA AMG variant, um, that really does bump up the power quite a lot. Now with only 208 horsepower here, you can't really expect a whole lot out of the CLA. It really isn't all that fast, but it's not really meant to be all that fast. Unless if you go for the CLA AMG model. Now one thing I will say about the CLA is that the fuel economy is actually quite impressive, earning EPA estimates of 26 in the city and 38 on the highway, which is pretty darn good. Now as far as the ride quality goes for the CLA, if you go for the sports suspension for the vehicle, the ride can get quite stiff. However, in the 2015 model year, they made a comfort suspension standard while the sports suspension was optional. In the 2014 model year, uh, all CLAs came with the sports suspension and the sports suspension is really stiff and it's kind of jarring at times to be honest. I would definitely go for the comfort suspension. So overall I think the best part about the CLA is certainly its handling and its pretty good fuel economy too. However, I was quite disappointed when it came to its ride quality with the sports suspension as well as its power delivery too. Very nice.
Now even though that this is Mercedes cheapest model in their lineup, build quality and materials are still pretty good inside of here. We have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, armrest, nice stitching right here to them and right here as well. Up here on the dashboard it's nice and softly padded and then up here um, it's actually hard touch plastic but the graining of the plastics are pretty nice. Um, build quality is also excellent inside of this vehicle, no panel gaps or anything of that nature. Overall build quality and materials are still up to the Mercedes standard. Now coming to the steering wheel design, love the steering wheel here, very stylish and then also you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls which are located right here and then your voice recognition Bluetooth phone controls and then these controls right here control your little information center which I'll get to in just a second a little later in the video I also forgot to mention that we do have paddle shifters with the 7 speed automatic transmission here coming up here you have a manually dimming rear view mirror and then you also do have your SOS safety connect LED map lights sunglass container that's lined with felt pretty high quality there right here you will find a little storage cubby and then a 12 volt power outlet and then you have a single cup holder right here and then two more cup holders right here and then you have your controller for your command interface which I'll get to in just a second you can also get a panoramic sunroof in this vehicle, which makes the cabin a lot more airy and open feeling. Then coming to your center console, the lid of it is nice and soft touch and stitched, and then you will find two USB charging ports and an okay amount of center console storage. As far as the seats go in the CLA, they're pretty comfortable. They're more supportive than comfortable, I have to say. Um, you can take a long road trip in this vehicle, but I would only recommend two people going on a long tr road trip in this vehicle because if you go on a long road trip back there it's going to be very cramped. Um, the side bolstering on the seats are pretty good. Thigh support is excellent on the CLA. And then you also do have a manual thigh extension which helps out with thigh support quite a lot too. Coming to your AC controls, uh, pretty simple climate controls here and it's a pretty clean looking layout. I wish the buttons were just a little bit bigger. We do have dual zone automatic climate control you have your temperatures right here and then you have your different zones and then your fan speeds are right here too and then you have your rear window defroster and then your front window defroster right here you also find your three stage heated seats for the driver and the passenger and then you have your dynamic select and this is where you will find your different driver selectable modes and it shows you up on the command interface or on the screen between the gauges. Now basically you have your comfort mode, your sport mode, which tightens up the steering and changes the throttle response a little bit. And then you have your individual and then your eco mode, which helps save fuel. And then you also do have your automatic start-stop system. So when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, the engine will actually shut off to save fuel. And that's one reason why this vehicle earns such high fuel economy numbers. Now coming right here we also do have your dial pad for your phone and then you have your radio button which you could change your different radio station and then your media button you could change your different media source and then you could go straight to Navi or your telephone or your vehicle settings straight on the command interface. It's kind of like a shortcut. And coming to the command interface here it's all controlled by this dial right here or these buttons right here on the dash. Now coming to your Navi, you actually have to have a memory card inserted into the system and then your memory card insert is where slot is right here. And then your different radio sources do include all of the normal. We have AM radio, FM radio, and then HD2. And then your different media sources do include all of the norm. We have your Bluetooth streaming audio and then you also do have your USB port with your iPod integration and then you have your CD player with your optical disk drive too. What I love about the command interface is that there's a back button which helps out quite a lot. Coming to telephone over here you can hook up your Bluetooth phone. Have all of your contacts stored on here and then you have an integrated dial pad which is right here and then you can connect your Bluetooth device to 
You have your vehicle settings. It gives you a little operator's manual. You can change the time. Vehicle settings from locator lighting, exterior lighting, delayed switch off, or the ambient light brightness. You can change that if you like. Then you have your dynamic select, which I already went over. And then your fuel consumption data gives you a little bar graph. Pretty cool. I think the best part about the command interface with this system is the rendering and the graphics are just beautiful. They're very crisp and I just think it's one of the best systems in terms of graphics and rendering. It's a beautiful system. Now I also love the way the air vents are styled in this vehicle and then you can also move around like this which is pretty cool pretty unique there. As far as visibility goes in the CLA, visibility is not the CLA's strong point and you give up good visibility because of the sloping roof line in the back and you have a huge C pillar back there. Um, pretty big blind spot back there. I would certainly get blind spot detection on this vehicle which is optional. Coming to the gauges and the instrument cluster in the CLA, I love them and I love the gray background and then I love the red needles too and it's pretty sporty looking in my opinion. Now coming on the left we have your speedometer and then your fuel gauge. On the right we have your tachometer and then your coolant temperature. In the center screen right there we have a little LCD screen. Basically it shows you all of your vehicle information. Up here we have your exterior temperature readout and your digital clock which displays at all times. And then right here we have your service. It shows you your tire pressure, assist plus. And then you have your settings from your instrument cluster to the light, to the vehicle. And then right here it shows you what gear you're in at all times. And then you have your trip information, shows you all that good stuff. Your turn by turn direction for your navigation, but we don't have a memory card. And then you have your audio, you can change a different audio source from here, show what song, shows what song is playing to. And then you have your telephone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, shows you what phone is connected. Overall, I love this little screen right here. And then right over here we have your driver assistance from the tension assist and the collision prevention assist too. And let's go ahead and shut down the CLA. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Now, I kind of have to duck my head a little bit when getting back here in the CLA. And then, if you're looking for a roomy four-door family sedan, this is not your vehicle. I pretty much call the CLA a coupe because these back seats are kind of useless, especially for adults. Um, my head is hitting the ceiling right now. Headroom is very tight back here, as well as legroom too. Then you have rear air vents back here, but no map pockets. I'm actually very surprised about that. And you also do have rear center armrest with cup holders. If you're looking for a roomier vehicle, I would suggest going with the hatchback variant, uh, the GLA. It's a little bit roomier on the inside for its occupants. Or just step up to a C-Class. And then you also find a 12 volt power outlet right here in a little storage cubby. Alright. Really love how the trunk opens all the way up. Now back here you'll find kind of a small trunk, kind of to be expected. Then you have your first aid kit back here. And a big old storage compartment. Full manual passenger seat, glove box compartment, nice and damp and light with felt. So the 2016 Mercedes-Benz CLA offers all of the Mercedes trimmings for a relatively modest price. However, if you are looking for an entry level luxury subcompact vehicle with a more engaging driving experience, then you may want to look elsewhere. However, the Mercedes CLA has style fuel efficiency, and luxury to match. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.
Thank you.